Hold up, look, homie, let me whisper in your ear. Let me tell you, God is the reason why I'm here. I don't know how I rap, but that's okay. I'ma still praise God anyway. Yeah, hello, fear is all over y'all timelines. And you know why? Cause we ain't taking over, we gon' shine. Don't know how I rap, but that's okay. I got God on my side. I need to end it first. We gon' win. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, I'm not a rapper. So don't. <laughs> I'm not a rapper. So, um. Uh. That was just something to entertain. Cause I can't freestyle or nothing. But how are you guys doing today? It is a great day to be alive, isn't it? Yes, it really is. Um, this broadcast is going to be shorter than last week's. Um, I'm just going to get to the point, um, and it's probably going to probably be one, two Bible verses in there. I'm not going to tell you guys a whole scripture or anything. I just wanted to be me and you, like it always is, but I, um, last week we talked about God's perfect love for us, and, uh, you know, how God loves us so very much, and so I was like, okay, what can I talk about this week? That can be like a part two from last week, like I got to I don't, know, I don't know what to do and so God gave me to talk about battles and situations and stuff like that and how God prepares us for the future God loves us so much that he prepares us for he don't just throw us up in there and say all right do this <laughs> do it now God prepares us step by step day by day and that's what I want to talk about to you guys today blessing this this movement thank you for blessing my life thank you for blessing all of these souls watching god and listening god i just pray that something is said in this broadcast that really changes the way that they see life for the good god i just pray that this this thing right here just really captivates the hearts of the lost ones so they can just realize that they're not alone in whatever they do just I just want you to touch their hearts, Lord, and let them know that you are there and you are always guiding their every step they take, God. God, we love you. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. There is no one higher than you, God. And that's why I thank you and I worship you. And I'm not afraid to say that I love you. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. All right, you guys, so I hope that your mind is clear and you're ready to just meditate in God's word. Um, so last week we talked about the love of God, and this week we're talking about your battle and what you go through. Um, well, basically, just know the title is Your Battle is Purpose, and it is purpose. Your battle, like, no matter what you go through, like, whatever battle or situation you go through, it has a cause. God isn't just going to make you suffer uh, for no reason. God has a purpose for everything he does. He wants to prepare us for the greatness that he has that lies ahead. So he wants to take us by a step-by-step -step process to get to that place. And so I know some of you right now are in a situation where God just like, you feel like God slammed the door. And it's like, okay, that's done. And you're in the hallway just like, huh. God, what's going on? Like, you you close this door. I don't know what door to go in. I'm just in the hallway looking lost. I, I, I don't know where to go. And what I just say is to praise him in the hallway. Always focus on God. Even though he may have took someone out of your life. Or, maybe, or even though he, he may have closed this door that you thought would be open for the rest of your life. Focus on God right now. That's the whole point. That's what I say. We need to meditate and focus on God. Because God is the prize. God is where we need to be. But praise Him in the hallway. Because praise Him through the good days, the bad days. Just praise Him at all times. Because God is worth the praise. He loves us so much. So, But God, right now, if you're in that hallway right now, know that God is 
God is preparing to open so many great doors. They'll be better than the door he just slammed in your face. He closes doors to prepare you for the great ones that are about to open. Never think that you are by yourself in any situation that you go through. Even though he has you in the hallway right now, praise him. Sing sing to him. Pray to him in that hallway. That hallway is like your altar. Praise. Praise God. Do it. Now, um, what I want... Well, I want you to know is that um, through every battle you go through, every small little thing that you go through, know that you already have the victory. I never discussed this before. When Jesus got nailed on the cross, boom, victory. God even showed us Genesis to Revelation. Revelation even tells us the victory that we have. So even though we go through a little small battle, know that we already have the victory in it. But I want you to know that you have to have God on your side. You you cannot think that you can get through this battle by yourself. Because if you think that you can get through this battle by yourself, you're going to lose. There's no way you can get through something without the love of God. And I want you to know that, I know that you feel like you're in a battlefield, but you do not need to make an enemy of God. Okay? You do not need to turn your back on God. You need to make God an ally in this battle. Make him your best, best buddy in this ally, okay? I say that because, like, I learned in history class, you know, and don't, don't, don't take <laughs> uh, the education I'm about to put out. Don't, uh, don't think it's what really happened. But when I was in history, I believed something about the American Revolution, how we were allies with, I think, the British. But don't take... Don't take my word on that because it may be the French. I really don't remember. But we were allies with some country. And, you know, in the battle, you're allies with somebody. And then you're enemies with somebody else. You do not want to be the one throwing grenades at God. And God does not want to be the one throwing grenades at you. If you are allies with God, you'll never run out of ammunition. Man, if you are allies with God, you'll never run out of ammunition. You'll always be prepared. You'll always be ready. And... Like, if you're trying to make God your enemy, Satan will be like, oh, snap, okay. Let me be your friend. Huh. 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 And that's something that you need to throw away right there. Because you ain't going to have no victory with Satan. I'm just let y'all know right now. Get, get, be allies with God. When you have God on your side, you can bust through anything. And I know that you may be like, all right, you know, I... You may be thinking, I'm so confused right now. I know that God's not the author of, of, of confusion, but I'm just so, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm going through this battle, but it's like, he slammed his door, and then I don't know if he's trying to open another one or something like that. All I have to say is, you got to focus on God through the whole process. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. God, God's not going to tempt you beyond your ability. That's a Bible verse. I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16. But I may not be correct. So, but I know it's 1 Corinthians chapter 4. But it's, uh, it says, um, he will not tempt you beyond your ability. God knows what you can do. He knows the greatness inside of you. God's not going to make you go through something that he thinks that you cannot overcome. That's the truth. And so... Just know that when he puts you through these battles, he doesn't put you through them just to go through them. He puts you through them for a reason, for an example. Um, when I had low self-esteem two years ago, when I, um, when I made that crying video that's on, you <clears throat> excuse me, that's on YouTube, um, on the theme song, you know, and I like cry a little bit and then I move on to the next. Well, if you would have told me that that clip would have been on television, I would be like, what you talking about? What? What you talking about? So he, had, he had to take me through that phase of low self-esteem to be able to stand here, talk, sit here right now and talk to you guys about the love of God. He had to make me go through that so I can see the love of God. If I never went through that, I probably would have still been in that place I was, sitting here lost, not knowing, making allies with the wrong person, making allies with Satan. That's where I would have been if he wouldn't have taken me through that. If he wouldn't have taken me through that journey that I went through. So that's how I know that battles are purpose. Your battle has 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 every kind of purpose for it. Like, I'm just being honest. If if I wouldn't if man, if I wouldn't went through all that stuff at school with 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 people and 
If I wouldn't just went through all of that, then how would I be sitting here in front of you having something to say about God? That's why I say everything is purpose. Everything has a purpose to go through. So I saw this clip on Facebook. Someone shared this clip. And um, see if I can describe it some way. It was, it was this man that had like a big load of battle. <laughs> it's like, that, that's, that's what I really say. He has a really huge situation. And, but it's actually like a cross. He's holding like a cross. You know, like uh, how, uh, how Jesus did when he was walking about to get uh, crucified. He had like a big cross he was carrying. Well, it was one of those big crosses he was carrying. And, um, and so he was like, God, I, I can't carry this. Can you please chop some off? So he chopped some off. He kept on walking. God, it's still too heavy. I can't carry this. Please chop, chop some off. Chop some more off. Chop some more off. God, it's still so heavy. Uh, I can't do this. God, please chop some off. Chop some more off. Now, everybody else by him had the big crosses they were carrying. And he wound up having a small cross. Well, they got to a huge bridge that had no like bridge on it. it had like a big opening gap like um you know what the gap looked like you know you had to cross over something and everyone else used their crosses to walk across his was too short god prepares us for the future and that's on my facebook page if y'all want to see the video um if you're friends with me on facebook it's on my facebook page i try to explain it the best i could but that video was basically saying god put god has different situations for you so when you get to that cliff, you can just walk right over it. It's not going to be a hassle. He prepares you for it. So that's all, that's all I wanted to say to you guys today. Everything has a purpose for it. You're not just going through it just to go through it. And when God puts you through it, he knows that that, that you can overcome it. So um, that's why don't let the enemy win in your battle, okay? Enemy wants to see you get so so upset so just uh just can't do it that's what he wants you to think that you can't do it and you end up taking your life or something even worse god is not going to tempt you beyond your ability okay so don't don't go doing things don't go doing any of those things don't don't listen to satan focus on god make an ally out of god if god is on your side you will never run out of ammunition that's a promise and um, just thinking, uh, but everything you, everything you go through, it's preparing you for greater. Um, and I know that, uh, from what I've been through, from what my own experience, I'm not sitting here today telling you guys something that I've never been through. If I never went through all that little self-esteem stuff, how would I be sitting here right now telling you the greatness of God? He brings you through everything. He brings you through the preparation step by step by step. And we not, right now, you might not even realize it. Like, man, what's this all for, man? Like, what is this? It's going to be for something in the future. You And it's going to, it's going to, it's going to mind, it's going to have you mind blown. I mean, when you come to the future, you'll be like, when I, when I was at Action News 5 that day, I was sitting in the studio, about to go, sitting in the studio, trying to get to you, babe. Okay, um, I, was, I was sitting in the studio, and um, and I was waiting to go on, and so, when, it, it was so funny. I was looking at, like, uh, they had, like, a little TV thing, you know, where they would show the, uh, the broadcast over there, and I was watching little TV, I was watching them, I was going to let them, so I was watching little TV, and it was like an advertisement about, uh, it was like, in 10 minutes, uh, listen to what a young girl has to say on anti-bullying or something like that, and I was like, those look like my skies I do in my videos, then I was like, wait, that is my video! <laughs> And then I started crying, and my dad was like, oh, no, 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 do not mess up your makeup. Your mama worked real hard on it. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, the tears. But I never, like, I I never would expect that clip on TV. It was crazy. And, like, if you would have told me, like, and, okay, for another thing, I know you're probably like, God, I just want to get into your head right now. Like, I want to know what you're thinking. Like, I'm, I'm tired of feeling like I'm just I'm just in the background. Like, I'm, I don't know what's going on. Like, I want to get inside your head, God. But see, no, if man got into the head of God and found out what he was planning for us, what he was planning for you, 
If you found that out, you would back away. It's too big for you right now. God is preparing it for you. It's way too big for you. And that's something I need to tell myself too. Because it's, it's, it's too big for me. It's too big for you. We, we, don't, we need to stop trying to figure out how we can get into God's head. It's too big for us right now. He's taking us step by step by step by step to prepare us for what he's going to do. And it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be crazy. But we have, to, we have to know that it's way too big for us right now. He has to take us through the beating. He has to take us to the breaking. He has to take us through every every single thing to prepare us to get to that moment of glory. When we find out what God's been planning and when we find it out, it's like, whoa, what is this? But then you already, you, you already know how to deal with it because God's taking you through the preparation. Boom, 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 boom. May God your ally. Make him your ally. Do not make him your enemy. Make him your ally. Because when God is your ally, man, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. And that's a verse. That's a verse. You already know the verse. First Philippians, um, I want to say 4.13. If I'm wrong, please don't take it to the heart. I know 20 Bible verses. I can't keep up with all of them. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah. So that's that's basically what this what this broadcast is all about. I want to let you know that God loves you so much that He's going to take you step by step, day by day, and He's preparing you for the greatness that He has prepared for you. If you in the hallway right now, praise Him in the hallway. Praise Him in the hallway. Know that He has He's planning something so good, so great. It's gonna blow your mind. Know that and thank Him. Just, God, I thank you for what you are preparing right now. Just say that. Thank him. Praise him every single moment. You never know what he has planned for you. Stop trying to get into the head of, of God. Just, just stop trying to do that. Stop trying to do that right now. In the name of Jesus, stop, stop, stop. Just stop. Stop. Know that he's doing something amazing. And you, right now, you're living in the present. And you have to praise God for it. And you... Praise him in the hallway and know that it's going to be all right. You already got the victory. If you're allies with God, you already got the victory. It's all you, baby. And know that your battle right now ain't even about you anyway. It's about the people it's going to bless when it turns into your testimony. Know that. And know that God loves you so, so, so very much. So very much. We already talked about God's love last week, but I had to bring it into this episode just so I can let you know one more time. He loves you so much. And I have... I, I, told myself you know I was like okay okay let me let me cool down because I'm gonna hear running out of breath but it it, it makes me excited because I've seen it for him what God will do when you're in the most craziest situation you feel like nothing nothing's gonna go any better then you make an ally with God and boom 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 open door open door open door open door open door boom 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 bam 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 boom opportunity boom 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 everywhere everything changes Man, yeah, I feel like I'm catching the spirit right now, y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaking right now. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to end it with this. I just want you to make allies with God in this battle. You'll never have the ammunition. Man, God will do so many miracles, man. God is the king of miracles. I mean. <laughs> Yo. That was powerful. That was powerful. Your battle is purpose. Everything you go through is purpose. And I want to leave you with that. God loves you. He really does. He placed greatness inside of you. He's not going to tempt you beyond your ability. He knows what you can do. And he loves you. I'm going to end it here. Um, amen. God, thank you for that beautiful message that you gave me. Oh, man. That just helped me out honestly 
ain't that crazy what God can do, man. That <laughs> that just helped me out, actually. I feel like God spoke to me a lot in this message. Uh, God. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And one, I want to say shout out. I want to just give a quick little shout out. If you're in the South Haven, Memphis area... I want to just give a quick little shout out to my dad's church. That it's a community church, non-denominational, by God inspired community church. This Sunday is a church lunch. It is at Holiday Inn behind Sam's Club, two eighty Marathon Way. Um, my myself and uh, and the rest of my fellow praise team members are gonna have some great music for you guys. It's gonna be a great service. I'm so excited about it. I'm, we're gonna wake people up in the hotel. <laughs> I feel so bad for those first floor people because we're going to be right up under them and we're going to be like, everything about you is right. Oh! And they're going to be like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's going to be so funny. I cannot wait. But shout out to my dad. I'm so proud of you, dad. And we're going to have a great time Sunday. And I want you all to be there. It's community church, non denominational. Dress how you are. It's all about the spirit in this place. There's no religion, no tradition. It's, it's what heaven is going to look like, y'all. So y'all should go ahead and bring y'all whole family down there we need white black Hispanic, everybody who love jesus we need to all get together it's what it's what heaven gonna look like so we all gotta do that um so thank you again for listening thank you again for supporting the hell of a movement praying for it thank you for praying for me and i just want to say that it doesn't even matter with numbers with me right now because i know that if god can bless me with few he'll bless me with many if if, if he can trust me with few he can bless me with many and i'm so grateful to be sitting here and him to be just speaking through me to you. He's used me as a vessel. I never thought he would use me as a vessel. But he has. And I thank him so much for it. And I thank you for supporting the movement and supporting me. And just, just thank you. God loves you. I love you. Your family loves you. And God loves you. But most importantly, God loves you more. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to make a slogan at the end of the video and that did not turn out right. Let's redo that. I love you. <laughs> Your family loves you. But most importantly, God loves you more. To God be the glory and God bless you. I love you.